what I'm thinking is that, or what I'm seeing is that, there's a new wind blowing. Uh, we've all been here for a minute. It's not very often that we see our brothers and sisters in diaspora coming to stay like this. Mm -hmm. It's not very often that we have AFCTA happening. Yeah. It's not very often that we believe in ourselves. We talking about return. It hasn't really gotten to this level before. Mm -hmm. So I think we are at a threshold. We are at, you know, a, a point that we need just a tip and everything will change. Yeah. Just about five, ten years ago, it was not like this. Mm -hmm. We are beginning to believe. We are beginning to understand. We are beginning to be more accommodating of each other. Yeah. So I believe that this is the time. This is yeah. Africa's time. Yeah. A lot is going to change. Mm -hmm. A lot is going to change. All we need is one solid example and the rest will come. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Your ancestors. That's the first thing you're supposed to do when you, when you come back home. I don't know if some of y'all know, but this is... Inside is the door of no return. And this is the door of return. Right here, we changed that a couple of years ago. This is right here through these doors. Once you got, you know, they're doing some construction out here. Normally, we have, you know, Brandon, you know, they have water. We have water over here. We can go inside the water. Uh, but they're doing some construction, so today we can't do that. Uh, but normally, this is where, you know, if you go back into our history, um, our ancestors, once they what came through these doors, they weren't supposed to come back. They got on the ships, and then so this is literally the last stop for a lot of our ancestors. You know, so our bloodline, you know, people wherever we coming from, our ancestors came right through these doors, and once they got on those boats, you know, to the to the ships, they were done. They were gone, and that notion was the door of no return. They were never coming back. You know, the beautiful thing about all this is that the fact that y'all here. That means that y'all brought them back, all right? And so, you know, this is a very sacred moment, um, you know, and we want to acknowledge that again. I know y'all tired, but we want to do this right because it's not right. I go. Amen. You see, Amen. I go. Amen. I go. Amen. You go canoe, Uncle. Uncle. Oh, Raja, I go for my Yeah. Raja, I will not go Raja. Yeah. It's a baby, but I wish my opinion Yeah. Raja, come up and you come up on the Zoom area. Yeah. Raja, you Yeah. Yeah. Yo. Dada. Egbe bi awe na obichi me na cha me man ye mwan. Yo. Egbe bi awe bagene me ma obi da san ye mwan. Yo. Che ye bo awo tu bi adi me ye o. Nde ye ba awo tu an. A che ye ba awo tu an. Pa pro wan hu. Yo. Bo wan hu ban. Yo. O muso me lan islam wan. Yo. A ta fa gwan sema. A san ki Whatever y'all bow, bow once again to our own ancestral land. Again, my name is Morgan Mensa. So happy to see you this very day. Today is Tuesday. Basically, a resting day for our gallant fishermen and women. A day set aside for them to take rest, reflect on the two days of hard working, catching fish to feed the population. And this very day, trust me, 
we wouldn't have found ourselves today over here. But they made sacrifices that they would do everything possible to survive the journey, even though they didn't know where they were going. And having survived, they worked assiduously and gave birth to us. So we are not tourists at all. We are on the pilgrimage to visit the Holy Land. And this is what we are share to our ancestors. That they've made us proud. We are who we are today because they survived the journey. If they had died, you and I wouldn't have found ourselves. Tie, yeah, tie that around your, your wrist. Yeah, tie, tie it around your wrist. This is significant of liberation. That's what the white flag means. So you coming out with your ancestors, you you know, you feel liberated okay. as you head out. You tie it around your wrist. You tie it around your wrist symbolism of liberation as you head out with your ancestors they with you now forever wherever you go your ancestors are with you this is a symbolism of, of liberation with the white flag and the white cloth you brought them out the symbolism of the white cloth means liberation you, yeah, you good yeah. Coming out with your ancestors. They're with you forever. Turn around. All right. How are you feeling? Sir. So, right, yes. Tie that around you. That's, that's the symbolism of liberation with the white cloth. Ancestors are with you forever. You brought them out with you. Everybody from your lineage that was ever here. You know, it's gonna take some time, but y'all gonna feel, you know, what the power from this. You know, so take it with you, take it back home. We're gonna we're gonna head to the beach resort now, about ten minutes away. We're gonna head over there. I know it's been a long day. I appreciate appreciate y'all for, for doing this and having, you know, the strength to be able to do this. I hope that you understand the significance and the symbolism all of this and you know as we um you know today we might not do the debriefing tonight because you know tomorrow morning you know whatever you know think about this you know whatever you, you know you come up with and help you.